Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to tell you the five reasons why I love van life. They're not the only reasons, but they're the main biggest reasons. So hang with me and I'll tell you what they are. The number one reason is freedom. And if you watch any van life videos on YouTube at all, you'll know everybody says that freedom is one of the best things about van life. But what does that mean exactly? Because in my experience, you don't really know what it means until you've experienced it. I'm not stuck in one place like I would be in a house or an apartment. Sure, I've had some really nice houses. I've had a house that's off the lake. Really big houses. And lots of fancy brand new furniture. But things like that do not make you happy. It's the experiences that you have that make you happy. And yeah. for me, Living in an apartment or a house is kind of like living in a prison. Now, I live in a very tiny place, but it gives me everything I need, and I can go wherever I want, and I can get the most amazing experiences through my van life that I never would have had living in an apartment or a house. And freedom includes being able to retire. If I had not started doing van life, I'd still be working right now. I bought my van six months ago and I worked another three, a little over three months before I retired. And I do not miss it at all. I uh, live on social security and I have plenty of money to live on. I have to watch my pennies, mind you. I have to live within my means, but I do find it easier to live within my means now than I did when I had my pretty high paying job. So, um, how can you beat that? And then there's the freedom of the daily grind. Having to get up in the morning, having to be at work at a certain time, having to work so many hours in the day. I did enjoy the work that I did, but there's just no comparing. <laughs> now, I don't want to discourage anybody that's not old enough to retire or maybe can't retire, but they want to do the van life. It is still very freeing, even if you have to work, because you have everything you own with you and you can go wherever you want. See that stick right there? I think it's a snake every time I walk by here and it scares the crap out of me. Number two, cost of living. Keeping up with the Joneses or the birds or very unhappy people. I can live in my van for very little. I live very simply. Living van life has allowed me to retire. And, and now I have all this extra time to do things to earn other streams of income, like YouTube. I'm not monetized yet, but I'm getting close. If I... Just keep getting subscribers like I have been. I should be there pretty soon. So please subscribe. Also, I have gotten back into my art. And I have an art website. I've, I've always had the art website. I just uh, stopped putting effort into it after I closed the gallery. 
but I've revived it. Um, it actually has changed to like a tumbleweed.com. It used to be Laughing Crow Artisans. But uh, yeah, all my old work is up for sale in uh, art print form. Uh, all of the originals are gone. I uh, When I left the gallery behind, I, I either sold everything or I gave it away to my friends in Springer, whom I hope to go visit soon. Every week, adventure, every day in fan life is an adventure. I share my adventures through my YouTube videos, of course, but I also have a Facebook page, like a tumbleweed, feel free to join where I share a lot of still photographs of sunsets and sunrises that I see. In fact, here's one from last night. It was amazing. Number five is meeting new people. Believe it or not, I am an introvert. It's very hard for me to meet people. When I was working, um, about the only time I ever met people was when I went out to eat and ate at the bar. And I would talk to the bartender and maybe uh, people that were sitting next to me. But since I've started van life, it's very easy to meet the people that you run into because they share the same love that you do of freedom and the outdoors and living tiny, having all your belongings with you, and having pretty much a carefree life. So, as I mentioned, I have been staying on private property on an alpaca farm in Snowflake, Arizona, uh, which is a harvest host. And I have gotten the opportunity to meet several of the, um, the harvest host guests that have come since I've been here. And they have all been so friendly and nice and amazing people and fun to talk to. And they have the best stories. We sit around and, you know, tell stories about this and that. And it just, the conversation just never ends until everybody gets too tired. So, for example, I met Sandy. Sandy is a uh, also retired, and she travels, um, not full-time, but uh, she's on a pretty extended trip when I met her. And I did a van tour of her little Nissan delivery van that was custom-built into a camper van for her. She was super nice. And then I've met so many other couples whose names I unfortunately can't remember, but they were so, so friendly. And then last night we had... Um, Another, I say we, <laughs> the harvest host, Bob, had guests come in last night and uh, they parked uh, in front of my van and they had a big travel trailer. Their names were Chrissy and Aubrey and they had two golden retrievers named Maisie and Golden Boy. And they were so, so friendly. I just, it just amazes me how friendly people are. And uh, I shared my Starlink. Uh, connection with them because she uh, is a software consultant and so she still works and so I was happy to happy to let them um, you know use a connection to my Starlink because it you know it's pretty powerful I have a lot of devices connected to it and it's still got room for more and then um, yeah we talked a little bit yesterday and they uh, did the little tour uh, alpaca farm this morning and they stopped to say goodbye and I wish them well on their uh, happy adventures and so Chrissy and Aubrey drop a comment in this video and let me know how your trip is going I would love to know and then of course the harvest host Bob who I've come to think of as my best friend now, and I think he's probably going to be a friend for life. He is probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. And he has offered for me to stay on his farm as long as I want. And I 
I keep telling him, well, if you get tired of me being here, just tell me to hit the road. <laughs> but I enjoy his company, and I think he enjoys my company. So I think I will stay until the weather gets too hot, and I will go where it's a little cooler for a while. But I will come back here because I love the landscape here, and I love hanging out with him and the alpacas and his dogs. And uh, it's just... Um, it's a happy place, and I, I'm probably the happiest that I've been in decades staying here. So you'll see me back here probably next week <laughs> in next week's video. <laughs> but I'll be heading to the Grand Canyon sometime in May, and I want to go back to Springer, you know, which is in northern New Mexico, and visit uh, my friends that I made there and go up to Denver and see my brother and then I'll make my way back around here, probably around September. So anyway, I hope that was enjoyable for you, at least get, let you get to know me a little bit better. And maybe it gave you some uh, insight into how you could, you know, be happy for the same reasons that I am. So anyway, I'm going to drop off now and... I will just say happy van life to you. Mm -hmm.